All right, this lesson's about algorithms, and, and we're going to talk a lot about procedures with parameters and repeat blocks. And I'm going to give you an assignment to do, do a bunch of things. Um, so the first thing is procedures with parameters. So parameters is information a procedure needs to do its job. And a procedure, and we can drag a procedure out, and let's just name this one draw square. Okay, and we can put a bunch of blocks in here, and whenever we call draw square after that, it'll do all those blocks. Okay. Um, and we, we, in the last lesson, we went over some of those. Now, a parameter means you can kind of let the caller have some, some power over, over, over what kind of square or what kind of, um, what kind of action the procedure does. Okay, so I'm going to add this input, and I'm going to call it L. Um, and it's going to basically be, be the length of the sides of the square. Okay, and so I've got a parameter called L. And now someone can call draw square. Okay, let's see where where it is. You always look in here to find your your stuff. So I can now call draw square and put like 40 in there. Okay, and once I create this procedure, it'll create a square of 40. Or I could put 20, it'll create a square of 20. So it makes things much easier than to have to call, you know, just have different squares, different functions for different sizes of square. Okay, so how do I draw a square of, of length? of sides of length L. Okay, well with this lesson, unlike the last one, the forward block is parameterized. So if I expand this, you can see the forward block has the number of pixels. And you don't need to worry about the details of the forward command at this point. But if you look in here and find the call forward block, it's going to allow you to tell it how many pixels you want to do. Okay, so I could say call forward and I could say how many pixels I want to give it. So if I want a square of size 40, I could stick a 40 in there. Okay. But really what I want to do is want to stick L in there because that's going to be what the caller, when they call draw square, they're going to give us the size of, of each side. Now, I could just basically copy this four times and let's just do that. Okay. Call forward. Call forward and call forward okay and this would just go forward you know if I put gave it a 10 it would go forward 10 10 10 40 times now of course I need my turn and the turn is also um, in this app is parameterized and I still want to just for a square of course I want to turn 90 degrees okay it's parameters how what degrees you want to turn okay so I could just copy that guy and copy him again oops I didn't mean to copy the whole procedure um, copy turn again and basically every time I move forward um, do a turn so I think I've now got a draw square okay the way I'm gonna call it is go grab draw square all right actually I already grabbed one so let's grab this guy and in the draw function, I can say whatever size I want for my square. I'll just put a 30 in there. Okay, so I'm saying I want to draw a square, send 30 as the parameter L, and then in the procedure, I use that L, that 30 in this case, to you know to draw my stuff. So let's try it. I'm going to press draw, which should call this draw procedure, which should call draw square with the 30. Okay, I touch draw. And I hide the Android man. There's my there's my square of size 30. Okay, so we're getting a little better now. You know, instead of having to write all these different procedures for drawing squares of different size, I can just use this one that has a single single parameter um, and and a single procedure to to do any size square. Okay, so that's kind of how parameters work. The second thing I want to show you is about um, repeat blocks. Okay, and you're going to use this. Um, for each block, okay, for each number block. And instead of doing this stuff, you know, notice all these are exactly the same. Instead of doing all that stuff, we're just going to put this stuff in here. Okay, and with this for each from one to whatever, what that means is do this stuff a, a number of times. You know, and basically for this range, okay. In this case, we don't want it to do five times, we want it to do four. And so for one to four, and we don't care about this number really, other than we want to make sure we go through this four times. It's going to loop four times. And if I reset draw, 
you'll see I still get the same the same square. Okay, so two things. We can parameterize our procedures, and that way the caller can provide information um, that really makes this procedure more general purpose, right? That's an important point. And then we can repeat blocks um, with with this for each block and just stick stuff in there. We know it's just gonna gonna repeat. Okay. Now, okay, so I've given you kind of one of your solutions, but your your assignment is I want you to draw some squares of different sizes, okay, using using the in, in building a parameterized draw square. Then I want you to think about drawing a triangle, okay, or draw you know a, a shape with five or seven or nine sides. All right, how would you do that, okay? And then finally, think about can you can you build a draw polygon? How would you maybe add another parameter to have a single procedure draw a polygon? which draws a square, triangle, you know, depending on what parameters you give it, it'll draw, draw a different thing. And, and just to show you, I've got this draw polygon procedure, and I can, I can call it, okay? Uh, I'm not going to show you that procedure. I'm just going to show you it working. Um, and I can give it any length. Okay, so I'm going to make, well, that's, let's, let's make the length bigger, 40, okay? And I can make my sides, however many sides I want. I'll just make the sides eight. Okay. And now when I test this, I'm going to reset and then touch draw. I get this eight-sided polygon. Okay. So, you know, kind of your final assignment is going to, you know, is, is build a draw polygon procedure.